everybody. This is Stephanie, and you are in my kitchen again. Um, I am fooling around with the Ninja Speedy Rapid Cooker Air Fryer. That's the long name. That's what it's called. Anyway, um, I'm doing linguine with um, pesto and um, tomato, spinach, and I'm going to put some shrimp in there. Okay? I think I got everything I'm putting in there. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Linguine, Alfredo with pesto, spinach, and tomatoes. That's what I'm doing. And to top it off with the protein, it will be the shrimp. So I'm going to get started and show you guys what I'm doing. All right, guys. I'm going to get into my ingredients here. First thing, this is some Alfredo sauce. Now, I have this full jar, which I am definitely going to use the whole thing because last time we wanted it a little more saucy so i'm going to use the full jar i also have some of the old jar of alfredo sauce and i might use a little more of that too okay i'm using some pesto and there we go that's pesto i'm using that pesto for the shrimp i'm going to use this i'm going to yeah i'm going to use some of this which is my uh, garlic butter. Love it. Love the stuff. I am using, I believe this is a, I think this is a half a cup of half and half. I believe that's what it is. I am using some garlic and herb, Spain spice for seasoning on my, on my um, shrimp. I am using Fettuccine. I think I had like a little bit less than a half a box, so I finished that up. That's in the in the uh, that is in the um, the Ninja already in the Speedy. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some onion powder on the shrimp. I'm gonna use some granulated garlic on the shrimp. I am using course some good old Old Bay on the shrimp. I am going to in the end use some what do we got this some Romano grated Romano cheese right here. I am also going to use some Parmesan cheese on here and I'm going to use uh, some spinach, probably the whole bag because I don't want a lot of spinach in it. You know, I want to get some vegetables in this thing. And I got, I'm going to use the um, red tomatoes, this whole, probably this whole thing. And I'm going to use a bay leaf, okay? I will show you what I'm doing. I'll get that to you. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, you see, guys, I have the shrimp. I think it. I think it's about 16 pieces of shrimp. It was frozen, and I just thawed it out. It's in my freezer. I'm going to use it, um, and I'm going to season it. So I'm going to season it first with some, you know, guys, got to have some Old Bay on your, sh on your fish. So I'm going to put some in here. And I'm going to use some granulated garlic. Granulated garlic goes next. What is next is this onion powder, this red, uh, sweet red onion powder, red onion powder, which I love. And it's a Spain Spice product. I do love it. And again, we're going to put some of that on here. Another Spain Spice product I love, 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 love is this garlic and herb. And of course, she going on there too. Of course, I love this stuff too. This is my garlic butter and um, herb. Garlic butter with, uh, with olive oil. Love this stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm going, I have already melted some of it. And that's right here. What I'm gonna do, first of all, I'll use my hand and I'm gonna mix this all around so that I can see that it got some seasoning on every single piece. Let me take this melted uh, 
butter and I'm going to put it all over it. And one more time. I'm putting it all over. I'm going to saturate it. Then I'm going to let it sit here because I'm doing the linguine first. Mostly because, I, you know, if you put this in for 15 minutes, you know it's not even going to be any good. So first, I'm going to deal with the linguine. And once it gets down to about five minutes or so, then I'll put these on and I'll get them cooked. That's how I'm going to use my new Ninja to make some shrimp, fettuccine, pesto, um, tomato, and spinach for dinner tonight. All right, in my pot, I already have the linguine, broke it up, you know, broken in half. And now we're gonna put the rest of the stuff in. This is a little bit more than one cup of water. That's it. Then, that one right in there. Then, what I wanna do is put, next thing that goes in here is the half and half. The next thing I'm going to put in here is one basil leaf. The very next thing that goes in here is the Alfredo sauce. So I'm going to put a whole jar in here. The entire jar goes in here. And then I'm actually gonna put just a little bit more of this one. Put a little, just a little bit more in there. Cause like I said before, when I made it, it was good, but it could use a little more sauce. So I'll just put a little more sauce in. All right, the next thing we gotta do is we gotta put a piece of foil paper right on top of that. Just like that, very simple. And then we are adding these tomatoes. Put them right on top. And with the tomatoes, I'm going to season them. I'm going to put some, some onion powder on them. I'm going to actually put some garlic powder on them. Put some black pepper on them. There you go. Next, you see, this is the grill plate. Really? I don't really have to turn it on, I guess, but I'm going to add the grill plate right now because I'm not actually going to add the uh, shrimp. I can do this. I guess I can do this in more than one way. But the grill plate goes on like that. So, Let's just see. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a different way at this point. I'm gonna add the shrimp in here. How much I don't think I can put it all in here anyway, which is what made me change my mind. Because I really don't think it can all go in here anyway at one time. So we'll do two batches. And that way I'm I'm able to get all of my shrimp done before my linguine gets done. And uh, or around the same time, and I'm cooking them. I'm cooking with gas. So what I'm doing is just adding these in right now. Um, yeah. So I, I got I got that much more to put in. So that'll be fine. Okay, guys. I closed the machine. Um, it's on rapid cook. Let me turn it on. It's on now, and it's on rapid cooker. And I'm going to go to, hmm, I'm not even going to do speedy meals. I think I'm going to put it on um, steam and crisp, okay? Uh, three, <laughs> 390, uh-uh. I'm going to turn the temperature down to 360. I'm going to turn this thing on for 15 minutes. All right. And then I'm gonna press start. Now what I'm gonna do is once it gets hot and it starts to air fry, 
Then I'm gonna take, once I see my shrimp are done, I'm taking it out and replace it with the, the next batch while this thing continues to cook. That I think is a good idea. We'll try it. I'm going to press start. And here we go. Okay, so it took about uh, seven minutes or so before it starts counting down. Now the air fryer is on. So I will be checking. Matter of fact, you know, it's only been on for a minute. But you can already see that the, uh, the shrimp is starting to cook. All right. It's been about six minutes. Let me check it out. They look done. You see how they look, they done shriveled back up? So they're done, you know? You know what shrimp does. You know how they do. They kind of, they're done. They shriveled up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm taking them out of here. I'm putting them right in here. All right, here goes one part of the shrimp. I'm gonna put the rest of them in now and let this keep going. I'll be back with the rest of the food. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a look at it and see where we are. Oh yeah, these are done. These are done, you can see more than done because you can see that they, <laughs> they're starting to, look at that. Yeah, they're done. Now, I'm gonna take these out. Come on now. Come here, little piggy. Uh, okay, it's off. It's stopped. Let's check it out. Okay, first things first, we gotta get this out of here. Okay, now you guys see the tomatoes. They're in here. I am going to just lift this right up. See, I'm gonna stir it up. Give it a stir. It's nice and creamy, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure, this, this batch is nice and creamy. So here comes the good stuff. We're going to add, we're gonna add the spinach. I'm gonna put all the rest of the spinach in here. And then some more in the first. Okay, as you can see, I stirred in whatever I had left for the other bag. And now I'm gonna put more in here. I want a lot of spinach in here. You don't have to do this, but it's just what I want. So I make sure I get me some veggies while I'm eating this stuff. The heat from the um, linguine or fettuccine is, is just gonna wilt this um, spinach. I'm literally going to close this back up. I am going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to put it on steam. There's steam right there. I'm going to put it on steam. And I'm going to bring this down to five minutes. Start. I want this to just continue to cook and steam so it can, you know, really uh, wilt down the spinach. And we're almost done. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I just realized that I forgot to put the pesto in. And that happens when you cook. So, I'll add it now. No biggie. It's gonna come in right now. Now, we want to stir all this up. Look at that wonderful stuff. So now there's pesto in here. There's a whole lot of spinach in here. It's very creamy. We got tomatoes. And uh, they're looking real good. They're all the pesto and everything is in. We are gonna add some cheese now. I got some Parmesan.
cantaloupe parmesan up in here. Really rich dish, I guess. <laughs> and then I have some Romano. Nice handful of Romano, too. Got some pepper in for good measure. I like pepper. So in she goes. Then, any shrimp on here, just gonna give it a taste. It's nice and saucy. Nice and saucy, cheesy, and vegetable-y. And it is fantastic. It tastes good. And it's fantastic. So now, I can just, oh yeah, I can add all the shrimp right now. Mm, I think I will. I'll put all the shrimp in and, and mix that up too. All the shrimp is in. So this is now definitely a shrimp dish. People who can't have shrimp can't eat this. And I'm going to plate it up, guys, and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, this is my plate. You guys can see that pretty good, I'm sure. Excuse these airplanes. They're just having a good time. <laughs> anyway, you can see what I have right here. And I'm going to show you what it tastes like. I'm going in. Going in. First, I'm going in for a piece of shrimp. You see that? That's the shrimp I'm going in for. Now I'm going to show you what it tastes like. I love shrimp. I love Alfredo. And this is good. And the spinach, it's just what we need, extra. Now I'm going to taste the Alfredo. Well, the fettuccine, the noodle. So, so you can see what I'm doing. Taking a little bit of the fettuccine here, and it goes. Mm. I have an excellent dinner tonight. I have an excellent dinner with leftovers. So I'll be eating this probably most of the week so I can get finished with it. And I am enjoying this Ninja Speedy. I truly am. I enjoy that, this thing. I haven't really made anything that was, you know, that they recommended it, recommended so far. But, you know, I'm using it the way I want to use it for what I think I need. And so far, so good. So, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm, I, appreciate, um, I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. Thank you so much for coming, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And please keep doing that. Okay? I love you. See y'all later. Bye-bye.